We've been interested in the Swedish skincare brand Foreo ever since we successfully used their Espada blue light device to help clear my teenage son's skin. And I loved it for its simplicity and its effectiveness. And I've used Foreo's Luna 3 device as part of my cleansing routine on and off for about six months. More recently, switching to this newly launched Luna 4, which Foreo sent me for the purposes of independent review. And it's essentially a two-in-one facial cleansing device that's designed to get rid of 99% of dirt, oil and makeup residue on our skin. I do not know what happens to that other 1%, but somehow it's just not coming off. So what is the science behind sonic cleansing? What anti-aging benefits, if any, does it offer our skin? And what's the big bonus with this device that they don't market, but for me, makes it worth its weight in gold. Let's find out. So the waterproof silicon clad Luna features sonic pulsations, which adds to the cleansing power of these super soft silicon bristles. And if you turn it over, the ridge side can be used for facial massage with Foreo saying the pulsations will also keep your skin toned because you're doing all the right things that we know are good for collagen and elastin production by boosting blood flow to your skin and exciting the skin cells. Now, if you already have a Luna model, I don't think there's any need to rush out and buy the four. It's just that each new model that they bring out has slightly improved design and functionality on the previous one. In this case, that includes things like the softer silicon bristles, a travel lock so it doesn't go off in your bag when you're on the move, and more treatment options because it is linked to an app. Now, I know when I've talked about the Luna before on this channel, in this video here that I did on skincare routines to suit the different stages of life, someone commented to say they couldn't get their device to sync with the app and they were really frustrated. Now, we got them sorted out, but while that didn't happen with me um, with the Luna 4, it did happen with the Luna 3, and I just had to delete and then reinstall the app for a second time, and it connected no problem. Once it is set up, you can either just do as I often do because I'm lazy, and I just hit the power button on the back, and that switches it into its automatic cleansing mode for your preset time. In my case, that's a minute, and I use that to cleanse my skin at night. Or you can work through some of the guided treatments using the app and giving you different choices like firming eye and brow massage or neck tightening and contouring. And you can also use the app to set your preferred strengths and times for either the cleansing mode or the massage option. On the cleansing mode, you can set your timings for each area of your face and the intensity of vibration, which ranges from a very gentle one all the way up to a much more powerful 10. And once you've selected those settings, you just click this power button on the back to switch on cleansing mode. For massage mode, you switch the device on and then double click again and it will shift into the massage treatment. Using the app settings, you can set the strength of the massage mode from either very gentle level one to a super intense 16. Now, I would not put level 16 vibration anywhere near my face. I would keep it to a low to medium setting on your face because high intensity vibration like that, as it did for me when I um, used it at first, I did get some uh, bloodshot eyes because I was just using it on too high a setting around my eye area but also high intensity vibration on your face. I think based on everything we've been learning recently about potential facial fat loss causes from Adipo founder, Yvonne Galenen, we don't wanna subject our face to intense forces like that. So just keep the stimulation moderate and gentle. Now it's not marketed as this, but I can tell you if you experience tension, headaches, neck stiffness, muscular aches in the shoulder blades, then my goodness, I would buy it to treat that alone because the vibration on your sore muscles feels so good. And I do tend to turn the massage intensity up if I'm using it to relieve muscle tension. At my stage in the game, about to turn 50, hormones completely out of whack, quite often I'll wake up with a headache that seems to come up from my shoulder blades and I just rest this on the back of my neck and it really is, it feels so good, it's just such a relief. <laughs> However, most people obviously will be buying this for its skin clearing capabilities and if you've used cleansing brushes, they can feel a bit harsh, they're not very hygienic, whereas with something like this, 
you can rinse it after every use because it's waterproof and the silicon is not going to gather bacteria when you're doing that. So you can use it as much as you like and it has a two year warranty. And you can charge it up using a USB cable, just like most devices these days, but it really does keep going. I mean, I can't remember the last time I recharged it and I've been using it for a few weeks. And Forio say you can get up to 600 uses out of one charge. Now, it's just as well you get a lot of mileage out of it because it's around £239 or $279 in the US. And so my view is this is a good choice for people who are primarily looking for a really effective skin cleansing device that's going to clear your skin. And then you've got the added benefit of using the rippled massager on the other side, like me, for relieving muscle tension. And then the sonic pulsations are going to contribute to the health and productivity of your skin cells, which in turn supports firmness. As for how those sonic pulsations work, well, Forio say they travel into the deeper layers of your skin and channel a low frequency massage to help relax muscles, improve blood flow, which is what's so important for skin health. The vibrations can also temporarily dilate pores, according to Forio which then makes way for your cleanser to penetrate deeper and help unclog those pores. And sonic cleansers like the Luna have been proven in various studies to be an effective and gentle treatment to improve inflammatory skin conditions like acne. That's also supported by multiple studies showing sonic cleansing to be considerably better for deep cleaning skin than typical washing. Although, Washing your face with your hands or with a face cloth is going to be fine for most people without particular skin problems. So in the video description, I'll link to the Luna 4 itself, but I'm also going to link to a blog post by aesthetic doctor Rachel Ho, who's used the Luna for years, and she does a great deep dive into the evidence behind sonic cleansing if you're interested in finding out more. And because you're using a cleansing device, you should pair it with a, a gentle facial wash. Foreo sell their own micro cleanser, which you can use with the device and it's good, it's gentle, it's unfragranced, it's non-irritating and a little does go a very long way, but it is about £40, so you might want to use your own. And for anyone looking for a sonic cleansing brush or device, to my mind, this would be the one to go for or one of the earlier versions, which will be cheaper and still a great buy. The Foreo Mini Luna 3, for example, which I'll also link to in the description, is heavily reduced at the time of publishing on currentbody.com at $129 or £119. And I've got a 15% off code for that one. So that really is bringing the price down. As always, I do love to hear your thoughts and comments. Do you use a Luna device or another sonic cleanser? And if so, what do you think of it? Would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to watch more from me, just hit subscribe along with the notification bell. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.